Hi guys, Paul here from Muscle Car UK, Pilgrim Motorsports again. What have we got for you today? We've got a 1970 Mustang 302 V8 convertible. The thing I love about these um, 1970 models is have a look at the front of it. It looks mean. If you're driving down a motorway and you see this in your rear view mirror, it has that presence about it. You feel a little bit intimidating because it has got that like shark look to it, that real big bulbous look, the powerful, powerful engine that lies behind it. But yes, we just got this into stock um, in this beautiful color, this beautiful blue, which I think really goes well with the chrome from all the rest of the car. And that's why this has obviously got American racing chrome wheels on it as well. So it really does help the attractiveness of this car. But and that, again, another beautiful car, rust free. If you look down the side of it, you can see it's all straight. It's all in beautiful condition. It looks great with the white interior as well. So you've got the chrome, you've got the blue, you've got the white interior. Stunning. It's an electric roof on this car, as I no doubt you'll see in the video a bit later, which is a lovely extra. I mean, these American cars had these electric roofs really in the 50s, so it was nothing new to them. And we over here in the UK, we tend to think electric roofs were maybe 20 years ago, but the Americans have had them literally since the 60s and the 50s really to be truthful but have a look at the whole car it really has a presence about it it's got this lovely little uh, spoiler on the back the, the back back of the car is just as attractive as the front you've got the twin pipes you've got those fabulous huge lights in here which are all embedded in when, when they come on the brake lights it looks absolutely stunning um, obviously you've got your gas cap with your with your pony mascot on the side and then uh, as you walk around, you can just see how good this car really is. I think that's got to be one of the most attractive interiors. Obviously, it's all new carpets in there. The dashboard's all good. You can still see this, this, this theme of this dashboard. They've always had the same since like 64, 65. These two sort of profiles inside the cockpit. Even in the modern today's car, if you were to go and buy 2020, they still have that sort of look to it. Yeah, they brought it in all through these years, these 56 years of Mustangs. They've always got them. Just, just a little, little point to make out. But yeah, all the chrome is good all around the windscreen, all beautiful. When the, when the, the, uh, the top comes up as well, it's not a difficult fix. It literally is two clips and you're done. So it's not one of these things where you think of the old cars and it's a bit of pain. Press the button, up it comes, clip it in, it's done. You haven't got to worry about it. So let's have a look under the bonnet because it's had a few nice upgrades, this car. As you can see, 302 V8, which is one of the smoothest engines. And what's happened here is, is we've it's had digital um, electronic, rather electronic ignition being put onto it for reliability. It's had a four barrel um, Elderbrock carb on it. It's got the Elderbrock um, performance manifold. As you can see, it's also got power steering. Here you can see the power steering. Power disc brakes up there in the corner with a big servo, so the stopping power is really good. And also, to keep it nice and cool, you've got an Ali Rad, two fans. So, you know, so if you're ever worried about, oh, an old car overheating, you know, someone spent the money and had this beautiful Rad put in with the two fans. So a great car, great performance. Great fun to drive and uh, something that I'm looking forward to taking out on the road in a minute. The Mustang had its second facelift in 1969. I'm out today in a 1970 convertible. Uh, you may recognise from the pictures it has the more aggressive looking front end treatment. Um, once again, a lovely car, what a great car to be driving on a day like today. Uh, it's bright and sunny, although it is December, so a little chilly, but hey, for next summer, this car, picnic basket in the back, what a great way to spend a summer afternoon. And once again, accompanied by that lovely V8 burble from the 302 cubic inch V8.